I get these cysts. I've had to get it cut open a five times. So it's a cyst. Is it inside of your vagina? Yeah, I don't want to get super into it, but it's really fucked up. Listen, somebody is listening to this podcast right now and going, oh, that's what that is on my vagina. I should go see a doctor. Hello? Hi. Is this good? Yeah, who is this? Um, This is Brandon. How are you doing tonight? Oh man, I'm doing uh pretty all right, man. I'm um I'm here to talk to some people on the phone and be a lizard and learn about folks in the world who aren't me. And uh, you aren't me. You're a, you're Brandon. You're a separate entity from I. And I would love to know. What's going on with you? Is there a thing in particular that you called in to talk about? It's okay if not. There is. I commented in your chat. So me and my girlfriend are both currently crippled right now. You and your girlfriend are crippled right now? Yes. <laughs> uh, what, what, are you, what are you crippled with? Um, so I'm pretty sure I just tore my ACL and my MCL again. Do you want to say yours? And she's just having lady problems. We're gonna just put it like that. Um, she's having her. Pe- she's what is that? Is she having her period? Because I don't know if that counts as being crippled. No, gynecologist stuff. Okay, she has a broken vagina. Yes. <laughs> How did you? Is she? Can I talk to her real quick? Yeah, she can hear you. Hello. Hey, what's your name? Megan. How did you break your vagina? Um, <laughs> um, so I get these types of cysts, and basically I've had to get it cut open about five times. And uh, so, yeah, I can't get out of bed because, um, yeah, I don't want to get super into it, but it's really fucked up. Like, it's really fucked up. What is, so, is, so it's a cyst. Is it inside of your vagina? Yes. That sounds crazy, but wait, so when you cut open a cyst on the inside of your vagina, you're creating a vagina inside of your vagina. Yes, vaginaception. It's vaginaception. <laughs> I'm being dead ass too, I'm not joking. No, I don't think this is something you would joke about. Um, if you wanna if you wanna look it up, it's called the Barcelon cyst. You know what? I don't you know what? Fuck it, I don't care. I'll yeah, what how do you spell it? B A R T H O L I N cyst. Bartholin cyst. All right. Do I dare click images? Oh, fuck it. I'm an adult. I can handle it. Um, Oh, okay. So I'm seeing this. Okay. You know what this kind of looks like? This kind of looks like a pea in a pod. True. True. Oh, God. And it's on the inside of a. Oh, this looks incredibly painful. How did you. When did you find out that you had this? I've been having them for about a year. You've been having them. There's been multiple Barth. Yes, Bart I've had about Simpson five cysts. on the right. So I'm gonna call them Bart Simpson cysts. Yo, I'm sorry. Say that again. I've had five on the right and two on the left. You had five of the, you had five of these motherfuckers like at a time. Seven. You had yeah, seven at a year. time. Not at a time throughout the year. Oh my god! How have you not killed yourself already? Uh, smoking some weed. Okay. <laughs> um, are you, do you have like a where do you what 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 state do you live in? Uh, Texas. Uh, do you do you get medical marijuana for? No. Is that like a th- no, dude? Come on! If they see, look, if you show the weed card guy the giant cyst on your vagina, he's got to give you some weed. <laughs> I fucking hope so. Um, does it help with the pain? Yeah, I was high. Last one I had was high for a week. <laughs> you were high for, oh, you, you were high for like that whole week. Yes. So when, have you ever had multiple of them on there at a time or is it just one? No. Just like, it, it, it looks like, um, like I had like balls. <laughs> it looks like your, <laughs> your vagina has balls. Yeah. Man, how big was this cyst that it looked like a ball? Uh, it was the size of a golf ball. 
Oh, my God. Now, let me ask you, and look, I'm sorry, I'm asking you to tell me a lot about this because I'm curious, but... Um, well, it's not a thing that's known a lot about, so I, I, you know, I'm happy to share about it. You're spreading awareness. Um, so, listen, I am spreading awareness. Listen, somebody is listening to this podcast right now and going, oh, that's what that is on my vagina. I should go see a doctor about that. I mean, you know, and you're saving that person's life by being open about this. So oh, you're a yeah. hero. I um, am, yes. What can I does it do you guys still have sex even with the thing? No. I assume it makes sex very painful. Yes. So I do. <laughs> what what did he just say? Being an asshole. <laughs> oh. Is is your gynecologist a guy or a girl? It's a girl. Okay. I um, actually so I had gone today and there was my best friend who's gay. And then I had the doctor, then I had the nurse, and then I had a person who was learning in the room as well. So I had like four people looking at my vagina at the same time. You had an audience for this thing. <laughs> I mean, at that point, I don't care anymore. <laughs> it hurts so bad, you don't care. I mean, it is kind of. Uh, I mean, it, it, it. I mean, I'm looking at it right now. I mean, I'm not your. I'm not looking at yours, but I'm looking at. A vagina with a cyst on it, and it is it is kind of a spectacle. Yeah. It's fucked up. It's really fucked up. And there's no cure for it. Is, is it cutting it open, the cure? <clears throat> I'm, like, full-on educating you right now. So there's this thing called a word catheter that basically fills in the hole for about four weeks, and so and your body heals from the inside out, so it's trying to clear it. But since they haven't done um, research on women's bodies until about the 70s, they don't know the cause. They don't know how to stop it. Um, and, like, the most extreme is to remove both the glands through surgery, surgery. Is that true that they didn't do medical research on, on female bodies until, what, 1970? Yeah, about. Huh. Like, in depth. Um. So, uh, when, here's the thing. When they cut off the cyst, what do they do with it? No, they don't cut it off. They, like, drain it. Oh, okay. What do they it's do with the, the pus? Do you think that's any guy's, like, thing? Like, yes. Like, there's, <laughs> there's got to be some guy out there who's Bart, thought, Bart, Bart, what is it called? Well, what's that thing where it's like there's a porn for anything? There's a yeah. There's some guy out there who's a bar, bar, bartesianal cyst pus <laughs> guy. Like Probably. it's his dream to use the pus from a bartesianal cyst as lube. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I'm just saying these things to you. This You're fucked up, but bro. I know. No, I'm not saying that's me. I'm saying that there's and you look. It's you said it yourself. Suspicious. Hold on. You hold you on. Hold on. You said it. it. Hold on, hold on. You said yourself, if it exists, there's part of it. You brought that. No, I'm guessing. Don't gaslight me right now. Idea. No, no, I was. I was. This was 100% my idea. I will take the blame for bringing this up. Hey, we okay. gave you money. We came to your show in Dallas. Hey, guess, you came to my I show in Dallas. You. That was our first date, and we are dating now. So I owe you a thank you. Wait, that was your first date? Yeah. Hey, it was phenomenal, in my opinion. She said that was the best date she's ever been on. Oh really? Well, uh, well, okay. What, what did you? Was that because um, your boyfriend was being all cool and slick, or did you just like the show, or both? Both, and we got ramen afterwards. That sounds fun. I'm glad you guys yeah. liked it. Yeah, that was guy, um, that you, was fun. The guy talking about nutting on an ant hill. <laughs> yeah, I do remember that guy talking about nutting on an ant hill. <laughs> Those poor ants. <laughs> um, man, this that you know. I, I feel, make this is a great ad for the tour. Just making a passing comment about the guy. Everyone, about, everyone, go. Know. It's funny as fuck. Everyone's got to go. It it builds relationships. Well, so okay, so wait, when that was that was kind of recent, right? Like, so you guys are uh, a month, Last month, yeah, like a month ago. There's a month ago. Well, it, I'm not gonna lie. You guys sound like you've been dating. I, I mean, look, you've been through a lot together. It We're sounds trauma like. bonding. I watched You're him truly get trauma uh, bonding. 700 milligrams of stuff drained out of his knee yesterday, actually. Okay, all right. So let's talk about you. And so you have like a <laughs> knee cyst. 
Okay, so you have a bunch of tendons that are inside your knee that hold your knee in place and allows it to move. And they're really common tears within athletes. And I had surgery on it last year around this time. Pumpkin's ACL playing flag football. Shut no. <laughs> <laughs> you tore your ACL playing flag football? The intramural sports for our college. <laughs> um, I You know what? I got to say, though, like... Here's the thing. Even though you tore your ACL, you can never complain to her because her, like, look, exactly. I'm sure your knee hurts, oh. but hers is way worse. Yeah, no, I've already told her that. So what have you guys been doing? I mean, you guys, I mean, can you guys, can either of you walk? Um, so I just hurt my knee this, um, last Friday. So I've just been having the rewalk. I'm just off of crutches now, and I just kind of limp around with a really big brace. And she can't really walk very well today. So it was me limping around in her kitchen cooking her dinner tonight. <laughs> but nice. last weekend, it was her cooking dinner for me. <laughs> That's sweet. You guys really are trauma bonding with all the stuff. that we I mean, are. There's, there's enough pus being drained out of both of you guys to make the guy with the vagina cyst fetish and some girl with a knee cyst fetish very happy. We could make money. You could, but you'd probably... I'm, I'm is that legal? That's gotta be illegal, right? To sell... Nah. Actually, you guys want to fund... I, I, um, I... A long time... Like, a couple of years ago... I sold my bath water on my website, therapygecko.com, and in doing so, I had to look up the legality of selling bodily fluids because, you know, like, there were flakes of skin and um, hair in there. And I think you can't, like, you can't sell piss or blood over with Shopify. Hmm. But I think bath water's okay. And I would, I don't, you probably can't sell your pus on the internet. I saw a lady today sell um, two bags of her burps for $50. Bags of burps. Where did you see that? On TikTok. She also sold her cast one time for $15,000. Her cast? Yeah, she had broken her leg. And she got it when it was healed. She gave the, well, sold the cast to this guy for $15,000. What, what, what do you think about that? Do you think that that's sad or do you think that's happy? I think that's honestly kind of baller. Get the bag. <laughs> No, I like, mean, like, is it, like, is it a set? Do you think it's... Oh, for the guy? For the guy. Well, both of them... Look, that transaction would not have transpired <laughs> were it not mutually agreed upon by both parties to be beneficial. Well, she's a dominatrix. Right. So he probably had... Uh, do you think he's, like, jacking off, like, rubbing the cast on his dick? What do you think he's doing? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You, you know, look. You say ooh, and you've been. You guys have been saying ooh, but look, it probably, it may, it probably made that guy very happy to jerk off onto this girl's sweaty cast, and it probably made her very happy to sell it for fifteen thousand dollars. I think that's a great. I think that's a beautiful story. It makes people like will make fucking comments on the internet and be like, "Oh, this is people. Guys are paying fifteen thousand dollars for a girl's cast. What does society come to?" I think that's a. I think that's a happy story of two people really getting what they wanted out of life. I think it's a beautiful thing. You know what? That's true. True. They're adults. Mutual um, understanding. Man, so you guys have only been together for a month. Where did you guys meet each other? Uh, Hinge. Hinge, actually. <laughs> did you guys both know about me before going to the show, or did one of you, like, yeah. introduce the other? No, I, we both know about you. He watched you more than I did. I, I watch you a lot. Hell yeah. I love Hell yeah. the podcast. What do you, what did, did you guys go on a second date? What was the second date? Was it to the gynecologist's office? What did we do? Um, I think we just hung out at my place. And we just talk. I don't even remember. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we've been hanging out like every day since, so we're not even sure. Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice. What, um, 
She was in my class the last semester. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Um, we had a big lecture together. It was like 170 people, and I sat like seven rows behind her, and I noticed her because she's covered and she has 20 tattoos. And I noticed her, and I thought she was really pretty, but I was too scared to ever go up and say anything because I'm awkward at first. But you well, know you what? Things in, ended up working out. You guys are in college. Yeah. I'm Dude, I, in my head, I, I don't know why, but in my head, I, I imagine you guys both being like 35 years old. <laughs> no, she's 21. I'm 20. All right. Well, um, what? How did you? What do you guys go to school for? Uh, psychology with a minor in human services. And I'm a marketing major. Psychology with it. What is human services? Um, you know, like social workers. Yeah. Kind of like the it's it's just an add-on. I'm trying to get my master's degree for therapy for um, teens and young adults. I like that. Do you think that the pain that you are going through now is somehow like like do you think it will brace you for um, the the hardships that people come to you with? Well, yeah. So one thing I've learned is like therapists need therapists. Yeah. Um. So I I feel like I understand more because I. The reason I picked that age group is when I really, really struggled um, as a teenager. So I felt like I could connect with people super well about that. I like that, man. I like that. What well, are you like? So you want to be like a talk therapist? Yeah. Nice. And uh, what do you? I'm what do you want to do? With a degree. Me with a degree. <laughs> I hope I I for your sake. I hope you um, achieve far greater than being just me with a degree. <laughs> And you want to be? Are you trying to be like the social media manager for Taco Bell? What's your deal? Oh, Honestly, really? no. I'm trying to work for you, Gek. You trying to work? I'm for trying me? to be your marketing major. I'm trying to get you. I'm trying to book you shows. I'm going to put you on okay. a tour. I'm going to work on your social media accounts. How do you? Um, what's your? What's? Give me a. Give me a guerrilla marketing plan to get people to come. Uh, to get more and people to listen to this podcast with your face on them i was about to, yeah we're gonna get some get condoms rolling out we're gonna go throw them all around the streets we're gonna get more tiktok ads going around and by the way the condom thing TikTok sounded like it was her idea it was yeah exactly. <laughs> well, we're a team here we're a team here yeah. <laughs> but i would honestly um, say stick to social media because most of the people we met at your shows all found you on social media and then yeah. one of my favorite YouTube videos that you did is when you... I mean, it'd be uh, weird if somebody had... said that they found me through a condom. <laughs> that'd be awesome. I think that'd be a great way to find you. It'd be weird because they'd be uh, thinking about you when... <laughs> yeah, that's why it's just my face. Like, that Gex stare emote is the rapper. <laughs> and then the actual condom is, like, condom is green. green and scented, like... Mildew. Like sweaty mm -hmm. mildew, yeah. What, 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 you, you were about to say something about a YouTube video. You're oh, you're now. doing great with the YouTube videos with the travels. Like, my favorite YouTube videos is when you went, had a midlife crisis and you went to Guatemala. Yeah, man. Fuck. I, you know, I have, I, I went to Japan and I shot all this cool stuff and I want to edit it. I got, that's what I wanted. This, my macro focus for this year is this tour. And then I think next year I'm going to be doing a lot more like, um, of like that kind person, of shit. Yeah. yeah, I got it, dude. I got a DM. I don't know if I talked about this before. I got a DM from some guy on Instagram being like, "Hey, man, I live in Pakistan. You should come through and and we'll hang out and I'll show you around." And I look, I didn't respond, but a part of me was like, "Fuck, man, I could just go to Pakistan and film a little video. I don't know what that would be like. I don't know or if that's even a good cool idea. To... I would love to travel the world personally. So that sounds like you have it made. Well." I don't know if, well, look, the second that, um, you know, I'm staring at a condom with my face on it is when I will, I will, I will declare myself having had it made. Well, I'm, you know, look, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yes, I have, I traveled to Guatemala. I'm doing shows all around the universe. But you know what? Stuff like this, the fact that this, this humble little podcast was able to create such a, such a such a beautiful budding romance. It warms my heart. So thank you guys for calling in and sharing this. And um, no, Gek, I've been calling for probably the past year, and I've never got in. So this is great. What is what are both your guys' names again? Brandon and Megan. Megan, I say this with full sincerity. I am sorry about your vagina. 
you. I appreciate it. And, I would also um, like to announce the chat. This was um, not my fault. <laughs> what? No. What, your, what fault? <laughs> Her vagina. I, I did not cause this. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Wait. Were people were people in the chat saying that you somehow? Well, they were saying that he it? blew his knee out from sex. <laughs> no, I mean, my, unless if you. I mean, second I, time was from basketball. <laughs> okay, because I was gonna say if you guys were doing some kind of weird. Um, like uh what's it called karma sutra pose where you were impaling her <laughs> vagina with your sisty knee and she somehow caught it from that <laughs> i you know i mean whatever uh -huh. you guys are adults live your life um is there anything else you guys want to say to the people of the computer before we go um gek brings relationships together guys go to a gek show and you're gonna meet a girl that's all I gotta say, and, and y'all are gonna hit I it off. I can't. I can't guarantee that, but it's perfect. Megan, yeah. any final thoughts? <laughs> mm -mm. Thank you, Gek. Hey, you guys, take care. Thank you very much for calling. Have a good night. You too. Hello. Hey. Oh my God! Hello. How are you? I'm doing pretty good, man. How are you? I'm great. Emily, you wouldn't believe it. I'm Who's Emily? Gecko. Talking to him right now, yeah. Who's Who's Emily? Uh, that's, uh, Emma, that's my girlfriend. I, I've been talking uh, to her. I started getting into you recently, and I was, I've always been telling you about her. And I tried to get her to listen to you, but she said it was like nonsense or something. So I, I did not say that. Uh, look, hold on. First, look, I'm not, I'm not offended by you saying it's not. I don't know, I don't know if she can hear me. Oh, she can can hear I talk to her real quick? Can I talk to her real quick? Yeah, he's here. Hello? Hello? I'm not offended that you said it was nonsense. You don't have... It's okay. I don't... It sometimes is nonsense. I agree with you. Sometimes it is nonsense, but... It's whatever. Like, I don't mind. All right. I've watched what, it how, before. I just, like... I don't watch it a lot anymore. Did it, dev did it devolve into nonsense? Did it start... Sensical I never to, in said your it was eyes. Nonsense. That's what he took out of the conversation. <laughs> Tell what did what, what was the conversation? She, I tried. I tried to play you. We were out one time, and I was in the car, and I said, "Oh, let's listen to Therapy Gecko on the way home." And she said something like, "I don't want to listen to some gecko talk about some nonsense." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And by the way, that's a, that's I I don't I'm not offended by that. That's the most. That's so fair. Okay. Because, uh, okay. look, I'm a gecko, and I'm talking about nonsense all the time. I am I am blessed with the fact that enough people exist in the universe that want to hear a gecko talk about nonsense that I am afforded the ability to do this. But I would be insane to think that everybody in the universe wants to hear a gecko talk about nonsense all the time. So, I, again, I'm not offended. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's selective. I understand. At the point in time, I'd rather listen to music and not a podcast when we're on our way to get grocery. <laughs> you know, I can sing. Do you want me to sing more in the podcast and then maybe you'd want to listen to it more? I mean, don't do stuff for me, but that would be what's awesome. Your favorite, what's music your favorite segment? song? I'll sing it right now. Oh, God. That's a that's a hard question. You can't put me on the spot like that. Just what's a song you like now? What's a song you've been listening to? I'll sing it. What's a song, Michael? Uh, Zipper by Brockhampton. I don't know what the fuck that is. So anyway, <laughs> Dude, I, I, Emma. I, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, no, what you know? You you were the one that called me. You tell me what you wanted to talk about. Well, I guess there's a couple different things I could always talk. I mean, well. I guess, essentially mentioned groceries, I can talk to you about one problem I've been having that people in my life, including my girlfriend, are getting upset at me about. Yeah. Um, then you can give me your two cents. So I think I have a, a slight addiction to stealing from the grocery store. Ah, you're a klepto. Yeah. What are you stealing? Um, pretty much all the food we get. So, like, my problem is... Uh, <laughs> I don't go grocery shopping until we're like out of everything because I'm lazy and um, the grocery store, which shall remain nameless um, that I've been going to near my house. Uh, I noticed that like the staff is very, very low staff, very young staff that doesn't really care as to what's going on. So I figured I can just totally 
scan two or three cheap things and be on my way. And that's what I've been doing. And I save about 80 to $90 every grocery trip. And, you know, grocery shit's expensive now. No, yeah, you know, I like that you I'm phrase always, it. You know, I like that you the way that you phrased it is amazing. You're like, I save eighty to ni- I've saved eighty to ninety dollars per grocery trip instead of saying I steal eighty to ninety dollars worth of stuff every grocery trip. Well, you know, it's it's it, I think it's just one of those one of those things where I mean, we're nineteen. We only just moved into this apartment about six months ago ish. And mm-hmm. you know, money can get tight sometimes and you gotta save, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. And you know, I mean I don't is it a problem that I don't feel bad? Look, I, well, look, I, look, I'm not going to judge you. I don't, you know. Well, okay, you don't feel bad. What are you? What are you stealing? And by the way, here's the thing: is um, I've never, I dude, I've never understood. Like it should theoretically, theoretically, it should be so fucking easy to steal from stores, right? Because nobody, like nobody. In the grocery store, at the time that you're stealing shit, has any true, like, stake in whether or not people steal. Like, the like the person who's getting paid minimum wage to bag your groceries, what the fuck do they care if you steal anything, right? Like, That's it doesn't come out of their paycheck. They're not, you know, uh, I don't know if the, they, they, the grocery store gives them stock options or whatever so i don't think they to me i i would think they have no level of investment as to whether or not you steal so it should theoretically be super easy i've never understood like um you know like if i worked at like best buy i'd let people steal tvs all the time who what, what do i give a fuck right yeah there's no reason to play hero you're not you're not gonna get any more money yeah um all right so what i mean tell me what are you stealing pretty much all the necessities you need when you go to the grocery store. I mean, you know, all of our frozen foods, all the foods we get. Um, we just, I just got yesterday. I I went and I got um like toilet paper and in like water bottles and stuff. So pretty much anything you would get on your regular big grocery trip. And like I said, it's like the reason it's like so much at once is because I get lazy and I don't like go to the store until like I need to. And I'm like pretty much out of everything. You know, we have a problem where we run out of food and pretty much just DoorDash for a straight week. So it's like. At some point, it gets to be like, all right, I need to stop wasting all this money on DoorDash. And just... Wait, you're DoorDash? You're DoorDashing for a whole week? Maybe not a whole week. That might be an exaggeration, but like... DoorDashing you know, every day for a week costs like $500. Okay, yeah. So maybe not a whole week, but that might be exaggerating, but like, you know, days on end, right? Or like a couple right. days out of the week. And we realize, you know, it's better. Let's just go get some groceries, you know, because I'm just so goddamn lazy. And then I also want to uh, not spend a bunch of money on groceries so i you know you do what you gotta do um are you how are you stealing them exactly are you bringing them to the self-checkout and not scanning them right okay i do have a process and you know given the 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 way the grocery store is it makes it very easy so there's like there's one um like registered person right and then there's like i would say probably eight self-checkouts so there's only one person up front that like isn't paying attention as to what's going on and then the the other problem though is that so every self checkout right has a big like HD camera on it that's like looking right at you and you can pretty much see it's like a self it's a face cam right you can see it so I just make sure that the shopping cart is like totally out of frame and then I will scan like I don't know like some sugar or something a couple a few things spend like ten dollars and grab the receipt will come out quickly put it in my pocket. And then just walk out as if nothing happened and nobody notices, nobody says anything, you know. It's usually pretty empty anyway, so that's kind of my process. You know, if anyone is listening and is planning on stealing groceries or would like to, that's uh, the way to do it in my eyes at least. They make it so easy with these self-checkout things. No, I know, who right? The fuck's like wa- who the fuck's watching these ca- – dude, that's the thing. They're, nobody's watching that camera. Exactly. Hmm. Like, they put them there to intimidate you, but nobody's actually fucking watching them. Is it bad that you don't feel bad? That was your question. Um, I mean, uh, dude, I don't know. I am I am far and away not a moral authority, so I'm not going to tell you how to feel. I don't I don't think stealing from these billion-dollar corporations, I don't think they're, me stealing $70 from the product from these billion-dollar corporations isn't going to fucking ruin their business. You know what I mean? 
Um, well, uh, I mean, all right, well, well, let's say everybody did it, right? Let's say everybody stole all of their groceries. Then the grocery shopping industry would collapse. You're right. You're right. But luckily, like most people that go here, honestly, are like like old people, and they just, you know, just buy all their stuff because they they're older and you know they're old and don't know any better. But I think the problem because <laughs> they're old and they don't they don't know any better that they can just yeah, fucking yeah, take exactly. it all. The, the problem right now is lying that my girlfriend she they're suckers. Doesn't, she doesn't want to go. She doesn't go to the grocery store with me anymore because she gets very anxious that we're going to get caught, and that's what makes me feel a little bad. Oh, uh, okay. Have you ever gotten close to getting caught? No, not at least not in my eyes. No, it's it's like the pro, like it's that's the reason why I keep doing it is that it's like too easy. Like they they almost set it up as if like they know they're gonna lose money. I don't get it. Like they're like why not just fucking employ some more like cashiers? You know, get some more workers in there, get people some more money, and they'll stop losing as much money. Because I guarantee you, they're like them having self checkout lines is losing them way more money if they were to just employ a couple people. You know I mean, I mean, I'm sure most people who walk into Target uh, pay for their things, uh, and enough people probably don't, and like a, f- a few enough people steal that it's really that much of an issue. Although I have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. Um, I know, like Walmart said, they lost like maybe like, it was like a crazy amount of dollars yearly in profits because people are stealing. I do what I there's like. The funny thing is, is we're two idiots just talking about that. Like, there's economists, right, who have written articles of, of like, does steal? Uh, that's an interesting question. Does stealing from Walmart or like big corporations does it somehow trickle down to affect people other than just like the the folks who you know have stock in the company? I don't know. I don't think it does. What do you like? Give me, give me, give me an example of an item you stole. Um, steak. You stole a steak. I stole steak. I stole. I stole. I stole three steaks. I stole ground chicken. I stole a bunch of frozen food. I stole a pack of water, uh, toilet paper, fucking a couple of bags of French fries. Um. Like some bags of chicken, just pretty much like I said. I mean, anything you would go on a regular grocery trip. I mean, luckily, you know, it's just the two of us. It's not like a big family, so we don't need like a ton of groceries. We're like, I'm afraid if it like the cart was like totally like loaded, then it would be a lot harder to do this. But um, luckily, it's not. It's not like an insane amount of groceries because it's just me and her. You know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, pretty much everything. And you know, because it's gone to the point where like it's almost as if like. When you go to the store, when I go to the store, at least I don't have to think about what I'm getting because I'm I'm not buying it. So I just see something. Oh, that that thing's kind of cool. I'll put that. You know, like, so okay, well, like, I'll say that. Even... I'll say that. I'll say this. The quickest way to you getting super caught is to get so used to stealing that when they do catch you, you're like, oh fuck, I forgot that this was even like illegal. This is just so part of my routine exactly, of going right? to the grocery so store that I forgot. Don't get to that point because that's that's right. That's when people get you know. Yeah, yeah, that's what they get yeah, pinched. I try to limit, yeah, yeah. I try to limit. All like, right, I tell me this. Hold on. All right, all right, all right. Do you have a do? Do you have a job? Do you have I any do. money? What's your job? I do. I deliver pizza. All right, and now you don't give a fuck if people like if people came into your pizza shop and stole pizza. You wouldn't give a fuck. No. Why would I care? Hmm. I have no. Do you make? Do you, ma- do you make decent enough money? Delivering pizzas that you could pay for the groceries if you wanted to. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but, but the but I was totally that, I totally thought that was not going to be the answer to that question because I assume I mean do you make oh, decent money delivering these pizzas? I do actually. I do make a, a decent a decent profit more than honestly. I think more people realize you can make as a pizza delivery driver. It's just um I think the money that I I because like I don't I feel like a lot of people have this problem like I. I I, like, will fucking go on DoorDash and spend, like, $40 and not even think about it. But, like, I'll go to the grocery store and be like, oh, that ham's, like, $4. I don't know if I can, you know what I mean? Like, it's so weird. Like, I, I feel like things I want, I can spend money on without even thinking about it. But, like, shit I need, like, gas yeah. or a fucking oil change or groceries, I'm, I, like, right. there and I, like, I'm not even the smartest. So I think that's what kind of led to, like, me thinking, oh, I can just steal groceries. That's just. All right, so let, me get, let me get the counterpoint in here. Let me talk to Emma again. Okay. 
Unless if she's I... in another room because she hates my voice that much. Oh, there you are. Emma. I don't hate you. This is Emma. not going to be a thing. Emma. Yeah. Um. Well, so from what I have been told or from what I gather, you are, you are anti-stealing from the grocery store. You have no, a, this I premonition am- that it is going to turn out bad and he's going to get caught and you don't want to be around for that. I'm pro stealing. I think it's good if it's from like not small businesses. It's not a small business, by the way. Just so you know, <laughs> it's not. It is not a small business, but um, I just have bad anxiety. So like, if I know he's going to go there and steal like more than half the cart full of groceries, I don't really want to be there. Plus, he's done it so many times. There's, I've heard that there's like a limit to how much you can steal like if it's over like a thousand then that can be a felony then they'll catch you and that's when they like put the hammer down on you and like i just no personally i don't want to be around when that happens you yeah you're at risk of the fbi literally raiding your pantry Uh haha I could see. I can tell you. Don't, I can tell you. <laughs> you you fucking hate me so much, Emma. <laughs> I don't hate you. <laughs> you hated. You hated my joke. Anyway, all right. It was a funny um, joke. I didn't want to laugh at my own expense. Anyway, but now I talk. just. I want to ahead. switch up the grocery store at least. <laughs> no, the one we go to is fucking perfect for stealing. <laughs> but like. Just switch it up every now and then. Go to a different that's store and steal not, from them. That's very risk. <laughs> then I might get caught. Okay. You know what? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Michael, this problem's going to solve itself because one of two things will happen. Okay? Either you will get caught or you won't. So the problem will, will work itself out. Okay, well then, what you, a gecko on the computer, what can you recommend that I do from this point forward? What would you do in my position right now? If you were calling into another gecko on the computer about this situation, and they told you what you just told me, how would you feel and what would you think you would do? Probably stop stealing the stuff in the grocery store. I understand. That's probably the right call. All right, I'm going to start singing on the podcast that your girlfriend doesn't hate it as much. I'm going to do it for her. Well, you know. Uh, Mike, is there anything else you want to say to me or the God or the people at the computer before we go? And thank you for defending me, by the way, Mike. I appreciate that. Um, Can I ask you one thing, actually? Uh, I want to go to... um, I'm I'm planning on uh, going to your show in Philly, but... Mm -hmm. Like, when I go on, like, the website to buy the ticket, it says something about, like, 21 and over, and I'm 19. Can I still go? Like, how does that work? Um, you know, I grew up, I, I went to college in Philly, right? And uh, I, I attended my fair share of comedy shows and events as a, as a 19-year-old, 18-year-old, 20-year-old. And, um, you know, uh, uh, I mean, ask the venue, but, like... Yeah. I don't, I don't want to tell you that you should just go anyway because I don't I I would hate for you to buy a ticket and not no, be able yeah, to get yeah, in. But yeah, yeah. I talk to the venue. Okay, I will. Um, Are you gonna bring I, Emma? I would like to. Yes, I'll go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Last, I'm sorry for giving you I'll shit. What's up? Hit me up. Are... What's going on? Say say say, say your thing. Are... The people at the computer, Mike. Yeah, yeah. Last thing I'll say is um, I probably started listening to you like a month ago, and um delivering pizzas now i pretty much all i do while i drive is listen to your podcast and it has Hell made yeah. my job a lot less boring and a lot more enjoyable so i appreciate that Thank and you. yeah i've been trying to call in and i never thought i'd get in but i actually got in and i talked to you about one of my issues and i uh i really appreciate it man thanks for uh, the service you do i think it's really important um letting people know that you know talking about things can really help and everything and you know just keep gecking it up and i'll probably see you in philly hopefully with thank you man look if you need a character witness in court after they catch you stealing, uh, uh, you know, cereal and toilet paper and shit, I got you. Okay, I will show up awesome. in the gecko suit 
to the Pennsylvania uh, Court of Affairs, and I will I will let them know that you're a good guy. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. You take care. Goodbye, Emma. Goodbye, Mike. Bye. Bless Have a good you night. You too. Call from Tony. To accept. Tony. Hello. What's up? Oh, nothing. My girls told me to call y'all. Your girls told you to call me? Yeah. Um, okay. What are you, by, by your girls, does that mean, are you, are they your daughters? Are you in a polyamorous relationship? What's, how are they your girls? Well, she has multiple personalities, so it could be the poly relationship. Okay. What, what are her multiple personalities? Oh man, trust is scary. She gets pissed off. She becomes like an angry. You ever seen like the gremlin when you feed it after twelve? That sounds more like an emotion than a than a uh, a personality. Oh no, she flips, man. Trust me, it's like a whole different person. It's probably mainly because of the emotion, but it's a whole different person. Okay, and she told you to call me. Yeah, she's like like a fan, like a major fan. She's just been telling me about your show for a while. I just I didn't and, think you would. Ever. And what what did why did she tell you to call me? I don't know. She just liked watching the stream. She wanted she she tried calling. And she couldn't get on. She was like, "Call." I was like, "Okay." I don't even know how this works. Honestly, uh, it's what well, it's working right now. We're on the phone together. We're talking. So does that mean I'm on the live? Um, you are on the phone with a guy. Okay, so your name is Tony. You have a girlfriend who um. So far, you've said only negative things about. Do you Do you actually like this person? Oh, I love her. Okay, that's good. What do you like about her? Oh, she's smart, and she's beautiful, and she's so unique. Hmm. How did you guys meet? You're, you're never going to guess it. We met at McDonald's. Bullshit. I swear to God, I was the cash. You, I, I was the cashier. You were the cashier. I was the cashier, and she walked in to get her job, and she asked me for the for the manager. But I guess I don't know. She like kind of asked me, and I walked away, and I was like, okay. And then the next thing I know, she ended up working there. Oh, so you met working together at McDonald's? I thought she was just a customer. Oh no 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 no. That's fast. You know, it's fascinating that you can be because there's uh, look, and I'm just gonna be honest here. No offense, but but um, the McDonald's fast food uniform, not the most attractive clothing choice, and yet both of you still found each other appealing. Right, right, right. In that environment, smelling like fries and grease. Right, right, and you got, you can't forget the beeping noise that you can hear in your sleep. If anybody that's worked at McDonald's will know, tell you about the beeping noise. Tell me more. What's the beeping noise? So basically, anything, anything that you put on, whether it's French fries to the burger patties, it alerts you with this harassing, like ear raping noise. It's just like a beep, but it's you hear it nonstop, especially when you're in like either fries or in the kitchen anywhere. Basically. This noise like penetrates so much into your head. I could hear it when I was sleeping. Mm. And um, what is what? What's the source of the noise? Where does it come from? It, it's just like an alarm on the fryers and the the grill where you put the burgers onto. It's just an alarm that I guess integrated into the machines. But the beat is like it's it's so weird. You can hear it over anything. I, I feel control. like if if the beep is constant, doesn't is it the whole point of an alarm that it's supposed to be a, a foreign sound that alerts you to something? Where if the alarm becomes part of the ambiance of the environment, it ceases to perform its function. No, but it's so high pitched, and it it keeps ringing until you turn it off. And like for the fries, which we fry for about two minutes, I think it was two to three. I can't really remember. But it's just constantly going off the whole shift. Now, what is it that you said? What is it that you um, said to her to turn your uh, relationship from co- collegiate? What? How it's from co- this from uh, from one of coworkers to one of love? 
what I said to her? Yes. Well, it's actually weird because I, I actually didn't know her name for a while. She kind of holds that against me. Don't they fucking have name tags? Yeah, but she would never wear hers. In my defense. Uh, um. Now, what? What? What did you? How did? How did? How did your relationship turn from colleagues to lovers? How did it turn from colleagues to lovers? I don't know. Yes. Kind of just I guess little tiny flirting actions. I guess you know because she's significantly shorter than I am. So I would just kind of flick her hat when I'd walk past her and stuff like that. But then eventually she started just coming in to check the schedule on her days off and bring me cookies. That's when I knew she was the one. You would you'd flick her hat. That's kind of like the whole um, if a guy is bullying you, he likes you thing. Yeah, I guess you could. Yeah, you, yeah, pretty much. But when, it was when more, you flick, more like when you, flicked, when you flicked her hat, would she say stop in like a playful tone? Not really. I kind of just flicked and kept walking. I was kind of nervous, you know? Yeah, it sounds like a nervous thing to do. All right. Now, um, what was your first date? Was it a Burger King? <laughs> you said Burger King. No, 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 no. We went to go watch the Jackie Robinson movie. You went the, to go the watch old... the Jackie Robinson movie. And was, yeah, was... Jackie Robinson's triumph <laughs> of, um, of, of, Destroying the social norms of the time. Like, did that fire you guys up? Romantic, no, sexual. I'm not so you. I wasn't even paying attention to the movie. Why, why, why not? It didn't catch my attention. I just wanted an excuse to spend time with her. Nothing else good was playing. It was during the lockdown, you know, during COVID. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I so don't get, was- I, you know, I don't, here's the thing. I've never, I've never understood, um, I've never understood. Oh, movie first dates. I it's a it's a horrible idea in my eyes because how are you supposed to talk? You can't really talk during the movie. Right, right, right. Well, there was we were the only ones in the theater. Oh, uh, oh, really? Oh, because of COVID. So we kind of just had a dark space to ourselves with the movie playing in the background. You guys didn't like finger each other in the movie, did you? No, 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 no. I was not fingered during the movie, no sir. Okay. You, I'm not the cops. You can tell me if you did. Oh no 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 no. Um, that'd be fun. This would be a funny thing for somebody to be undercover doing. It would right. work. Like if I was an undercover cop, people t- people tell me crazy things all the time. Right. What What's the craziest thing they've told you? Um. F- man, I don't even know. I've told ta- you're the. I, I, I do wonder what number of person you are that I've talked to on this show. If you're if you're like number one thousand three hundred and twenty five, that's my guess. Anyway, uh, how's the relationship going now? What do you guys do together with with your? Well, how do you work, what do you do to spend time with each other? Well, we work together again at UPS now. But like you, randomly? No, 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 no. We actually apply for the job together. Oh, that's cute. That's like that's like a life date. I don't yeah. know if what I said just made sense, but it's like a life yeah. date. Yeah, almost. Get to see her at work every day. Um. Mm-hmm. But other than that, so, you know, we just do like normal stuff. Go out to get some food and stuff like that. Okay. What? How long have you guys been dating for? It's gonna be three years. Wow, that's a lot of french fries. Yeah, we've been dating for two and a half years. Oh, and she said hi. She told me to tell you she said hi. Well, I, it, so, it sounds like she wants to talk to me more than you do. I'll, I'm down to talk to her. Are you guys in the same room? No, no, she just sent me a message. She lives, she lives with her parents. Oh, okay. Ask her, ask her if there's anything that she wants me specifically to talk to you about, because it, it considering it was her idea to have, have you well, call she, me. She's watching you live, so... You know, I don't, I don't know what she wants me to ask you. This is pretty cool. I've never been on a show before. So oh, she made a she made a message in the chat. She said, "I do." Okay, what is it? I want to know what it is that she wants me to talk to you about. Let me ask her. Okay, what did she say? She's not answering. She wants to join the call, but I don't she wants know to how join to join the call. Tell, yeah. Have her call. Do you know how to merge a call? Have her call you, and then she can merge the call. Okay. 
I'm having her call me right now. All right. Just out of um, curiosity, how long have you been doing this, this show? I've I've been doing this for about as long as you guys have been dating. I've been doing it uh, since June of 2020. So it's been uh, go, a little bit of time. Oh, she's here? Hi. Hi, what's your name? I'm Liz. Liz, what's up, Liz? Uh, apparently you, you had something in particular that you wanted uh, to talk about. Dude, I've been watching you every single night. I'm obsessed. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Can we talk shit about my uh, boyfriend's mom? Can we talk shit about your boyfriend's mom? Um, what, what, what is upsetting you about your boyfriend's mom? So, like, I have trouble. Okay, uh, a long time ago, I would let people step on me, right? And uh, now I don't. But, like, if I let someone step over me and I don't say anything about it, I hold, like, a really hard grudge. And um, that's what that's what happened. Like, let's just say he's not been very nice to me. Me? Her? Uh, my mother-in-law hasn't been very nice to me. And so, like, I don't say anything to her, you know, because I want to keep the peace. But it's in very what, in know, in what way in what way is she uh, not nice to you? I would like give her rides places, and like one day she decided to like. I could tell she didn't want me to go over to her house, but she realized I could do her a favor of taking her somewhere, and so I was nice enough, and I did. And as soon as I took her home, she started. Like indirectly calling me a whore. In what? How does somebody indirectly call you a whore? He was like, "I'm tired of these girls being in my house." And well, well girls as in whore. She, she was saying the word whores. And like I was. She said, "Wait, girl. so she she said I'm tired of these whores being in my house, referring to yeah. you." Yeah, I mean, I was the only girl in there. Directly to her, but I mean. It was obviously directed to her. Did you tell? Did you? Wh what was your response um, to your mom calling your? Uh, why are you guys married? Wife? Soon no. to be. Uh, <laughs> your fiance, a a whore. Well, I couldn't really say much, but it kind of just got her out of the situation. You know, we left my my fiance and I. We left the house, but the thing is with my mom is. Like, if you if you try to argue with her, it's like arguing with a wall. You won't win. You know what I mean? And I told her that's not cool because okay. she's done shit like that in the past. But it's like it's like talking to a grown child. Okay. You know, you know, kind of hits the you know the old school, uh, old reliable. I'm your mom, so I'm right. You know, type of move. I feel like you. Well, I look. Did you tell your mom, "Hey, don't call my uh, girlfriend a whore"? Did you try that? Yeah. Yeah, and then she's like, she says, when I told her that, she said, "I wasn't calling her a whore, but if the shoe fits, wear it." And I was like, <laughs> you know, that's, that's <laughs> she fucking said, she fucking said that. Yes, I swear to God, oh, no, God. Fucks no fucks given. <laughs> Why, dude? Why is your mom? Why is your mom so mean to your girlfriend? What is the de what's the deal? I think I scared. She's scared. No, what you, like hold on, hold on, hold on. What, what do you what do, what do you think, Liz? I what's think your this is my theory is she like has some like emotional like incest thing going on towards him. Like Whoa. she can't live without him emotionally. Whoa, emotional incest. Yeah. That sounds funny. Bro, what do you think about your girlfriend saying that you have some form of emotional incest with your mother? Like, not him, but, like, her. That would be a one-way street. I mean, I can see why she would think that, because it is kind of weird, you know? Like, she, like, does anything in her power for me not to leave. And then anytime I do leave, I come back, it's just, 
oh, see, this is why I don't like when you leave, because I get scared and I get nervous. Kind of like a dog that has separation anxiety, you know? Yeah. No, so yeah, it sounds like your mom is uh, jealous of your girlfriend that she gets to spend time with you and, and, and uh, but I mean, is therefore I'm, spending less time. At any time I'm home, it's just constant nagging, you know? That kind of makes you not want to spend time with a person. Dude, how old are you guys? I'm 19. 20. You guys are 19 and 20? Yes, sir. Damn. All right. I was going to say, if you guys were older, but do you do you rely on your mom for um, um, uh, financial support? No, it's actually vice versa. Oh, shit. Your, your mom, you pay for your mom to live and eat food and stuff. Mm-hmm. Basically. Treat her like a child, which is kind of irritating, you know? Wow. Yeah. I, look, man. You guys, you got to tell your mom. You got to be like, if you want my UPS McDonald's money, you got to stop calling my UPS McDonald's girlfriend a whore. Right, right, right. Because I'm McLovin' it, and it's not cool. Because you're, because okay. you guys are making McLove, and it's not right, cool. Right. Would What's you like up, to come for a McWedding? Oh, yeah. Um, is the, Will there actually be McDonald's at your wedding? I mean, there can be. See, you know, you know, I am. I don't like to promise things because I could sit here and like pretend to be cool and be like, you know what, guys, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go to your wedding, but then I would just, I would just not do it. So I would rather disappoint. You? I would rather disappoint you now than delay, than create excitement that will make the disappointment even larger. Will you at least come to Dallas again? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll definitely come to Dallas again. Great, because I wanna, if you guys want to, if you guys want to get married conveniently around my tour dates for next year, it would definitely help. Oh my god! Oh. Okay, okay. Please, yeah. please do not, please. You, I got in again in your mind. I could hear you like taking that seriously. Don't plan your wedding around my tour dates. <laughs> okay, but I have a question for you. I have a question for you. What's up? So, so what is the best ice cream? I guess you could say. Menu item at McDonald's. You what know, is ice- the best ice cream menu item at McDonald's. Oh, I had a frozen Sprite. I don't know if that counts, but I had a frozen Sprite limonade, and that was pretty great. Oh, oh, oh. okay. Well, May I, I share I the secret? Oh, what's this, what's you have a secret? What's the secret? Well, I want to share the secret of why the ice cream machine is always broken. Yes, oh. I would love to hear that. Do it. McDonald's gonna get you. Remember, no. keep watching. It's fine. They put me on fries for like eight hours straight. I can do them. So, um, the ice cream machine is not really broken. It's just like constantly being like cleaned. But the cleaning process takes like four hours, literally. So, you know, you get lucky or you get unlucky if you come for the ice cream. Or sometimes the manager just... Um... Wants to be a bitch and cleans it early and then just shuts it off and says, don't sell ice cream. They make us lie to yeah. you. Man, are you going to tell your mom to um, stop calling your girlfriend a whore? Yeah. <laughs> should, I, right. should I try some of my karate moves? Should you try some of your karate moves? I Look, I don't yeah, know if you're... I, I, look, I, I, I don't know whether or not you actually have karate moves, but I will tell you that in... In nothing of what... Nothing of anything of any situation you have described to me on this call uh, invites you to use your karate moves. So I'm going to say no. Oh, because I've been watching a lot of Cobra Kai. You know, well, I actually binge watched it. It's pretty good. Have you seen it? I mean, unless if you unless if you want to threaten to beat the shit out of your mom if she doesn't stop calling your girlfriend a whore, which I wouldn't <laughs> recommend. Emotionally, but I don't you know? know if you want to. I don't know if you want to set if you want to like set up a little fucking uh, piece of wood in between two cinder blocks and be like, stop calling my girlfriend a whore, Kia, and then hit it. <laughs> I think that would help get the message in her brain a little bit more. Right, right. That'll this, show would, her. That probably would help. I don't know though. What, is there anything else you guys want to say to the people at the computer before we go? Um, no. But I want to say that I love you and I'm gonna keep watching you. Ah, thanks, Liz. Thank both you guys, man. I appreciate it. Thanks. By the way, look. T- uh, here's the thing. I go to McDonald's far too much, far too often, and so um, you guys are kind of like my um, you know, when people like support the police, it's like the. The blue line, you got. I'm. Su- I support you guys like it's the, the thin, the thin yellow line. When all, when all other options for food at one o'clock in the morning are gone, you guys are the thin yellow line 
between um you know me and uh and chaos so thank, right, you. thank well, you well is there a limit on how many times we can join like if i try to call tomorrow will i purposely not be picked up <laughs> if you try to call tomorrow I'll, I'll be mad at you don't do that thank you guys very much for calling i'll call you i'll talk to you guys around I'll, you. I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys around the universe all right you have a good night hey you too take care